Welcome back to Two Minute History, a series where I teach you something from the ancient world in less than two minutes. Today I'm going to tell you about ostracism, a process where a person could be literally voted out of their own country. Let's start the clock now. Ostracism was a kind of reverse election, a process by which the ancient Athenians could remove someone from their state who they thought was dangerous and disruptive. Every year, the elected Athenian officials asked the assembly of Athenian citizens if they wanted to hold an ostracism, and if they voted yes, a date was set in two months' time. On that day, anyone who wished to participate in the ostracism was gathered in a special temporary enclosure to prevent double voting and give in an ostracon, a fragment of broken pottery. This is where the word ostracism comes from. The ancient equivalent of paper, called papyrus, was made from reeds in Egypt and was very expensive to import, so it was only used for special documents, but broken shards of pottery were extremely common. So the Athenian citizens would scratch the name of someone they wanted to get rid of onto their shard and give them to the city officials to be counted. Whoever's name was written on the most ostraca was banished from the city for 10 years. They only had 10 days to leave, and if they tried to return during that time, the punishment was death. It's interesting that this banishment wasn't permanent, and also interesting that there wasn't much of a stigma attached to it. No one was allowed to steal your stuff or take your house while you were gone, and once the 10 years were up, you were allowed to just move back in and live freely as if nothing had ever happened. This is unlike the process of being exiled by the Athenian law courts, where you were banished for life and all of your belongings were confiscated. In that case, you really were considered an enemy of the city, but the ostracism was a sort of weird compliment, like you'd played the game of politics so well that you had to be kicked out before you became a dictator. Too bad the Romans didn't have ostracisms and had to resort to pointier methods. There were a number of famous ostracisms, including that of Themistocles, but my favourite is the ostracism of Hyperbolus, who tried to organise a rigged ostracism of one of his political rivals, but everyone hated him so much that they kicked him out instead. Thanks for watching. Now go check out this video on Greek mythology.